Hey, this is Paul Mazurkowitz from Cannibal Corpse, and you are watching Loudwire. What's up, everyone? It's Loudwire, coverage of the 2012 Summer Slaughter Tour, and I'm here. You know who he is. It's Paul, drummer for Cannibal Corpse. Thank you so much for your time today. Oh, thanks for having me. All right. Uh, so this is a really amazing tour that's been concocted here today, and there's so many great bands on it. Uh, I want to know, are there any bands specifically that you admire on this tour? I mean, we, we admire all of them, really. I mean, uh, it is a great uh, bill, um, great adversity with the music, of course, you know. Um, some great bands, great musicianship on this, on this bill, you know. Um, we've never toured with a, uh, Between the Buried and Me. Um, we've never toured with Vale of Maya or Periphery. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just great bands. We've, we've seen the other bands, of course, before. You know, The Faceless, Exhumed, sure. uh, Goat Whore. Um, so we've never done anything with Cerebral Bore. But, I mean, really, all the bands are, 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 are great in their own way. You know, everybody's a little bit different. Oh, man, and uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's it's an it's an amazing thing seeing all these bands and having you know to share the stage with some great musicians. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, even though you guys are the headliners, uh, you do have to play a slightly shorter set. Right. Uh, so, is it difficult to pick and choose what songs uh, to leave out of that set? How do you sacrifice a song for a tour like this? It's a little difficult, but I mean, um, we've uh, we've been touring for the release, of course. For of torture for the last few months and all that and we've done our own headlining uh, set kind of uh, thing for that we knew we were gonna have to downsize it by a few songs um, uh, normally that set consists of say 20 songs we're playing 15 on this tour so basically we just looked at the set we've been doing and we knew we had to take out five songs you know it makes it a little you know difficult at, but at the same time I think we knew which ones we we're gonna take out you know we're already playing um, you know, tonight, for instance, four songs off the new record. Yeah. So we we were doing uh, actually six on our on our uh, real headliner. Okay. So we had to take we took out two new ones, knowing we still got four new ones, which is pretty good. And then that just left uh, three others to kind of figure out. Uh, but uh, it, it could have been worse, that's for sure. Absolutely. You know, it's it's actually usually the other way around. Just trying to you know when we do start a tour, trying to figure out what songs we're gonna play. You know, is is more the harder you know question to answer. And uh, you guys being uh, pioneers of death metal, uh, you know, whether it was uh, a conscious or subconscious thing, you guys absolutely knew uh, a direction that metal was going to go into. And uh, I want to know, where do you think uh, metal will be in maybe five or ten years from now? I mean, yeah, it's a tough one to answer as well. I mean, no one would have thought that... Uh you know, death metal and this extreme music would be as uh, in doing as well as, as it has been. Yeah. You know, and then really, when you think about it, it's still f fairly f new. You know, um, uh, so I mean, just looking at how it went from say the you know the start of our band in the mid '80s and all that kind of thing with the, the you know the whole thrash getting into death metal and you know here we go and now it's just it, it, it's such a crazy you know there's so many subgenres and everything and there's so much extreme music out there that it really it's hard to say what what it's going to be like in five to ten years but i think it's going to be still here and doing well you know and if anything it's just going to get, get more popular i think society's changing over generations and kids are getting into the, this kind of music younger and you know it's becoming you know you hate to use say the word mainstream Stream, but I mean, you know, if hey, if millions of people in the world or in the country or whatever are liking this kind of music, that's just you know that they're liking it for what it is and not because it's uh, you know I don't know. Uh, Played on the radio. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, you know, we're doing it on our own terms for us to be around as long as we have and to you know all the successes we've had. We're doing it on our own terms, you know, and it's we're not a commercial band, you know. I mean, no, it's no. as underground as it can be, and it's a, it's some crazy brutal music, you know. So for the fans to come out and support and all that and for like I said heavy music in general to be as doing as well as it is it's just because society's changing and uh, there's more people getting into this so I think that's just going to be what's going to happen in the future you know yeah. I mean you say five to ten years I always wonder what, what you know what, what's going to be like at 50 years what, what's going to be like at 100, 100 years which you can't even comprehend but I really believe it's going to still be around and you know it, it'll be interesting you know maybe we can look down and see you know the state of the music at that point but uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, I hope not. Uh, and uh, again, when it comes to uh, 
music changing, a lot of that has to do with, you know, the, the technology advancing in the internet age. And, uh, you know, before the internet really happened, uh, you guys were still very underground. And uh, I think there was somewhat of a mystique to you guys because the normal person, uh, the only time they would run into your music is right. if they maybe saw one of your album covers right. in a store sure. and it would scare the crap out of them sure. and they would think you're evil. Sure, sure. Uh, is, there, uh, is there any part of you that maybe misses that mystique? Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit. I mean, because we grew up with it, of course. You know, that's how we got into music. And you know, when we're young teenagers, you know, yeah, there's no internet. There's you know, you're going to the record store to find new music. You know, and you're you're having uh, pen pals or you know, just word of mouth by your friends in the city kind of a thing. You know, so it was kind of cool that way, of course. You know, I mean, so I guess the like I said, the fact that we grew up with that, it's a part of part of you. It's a part of your your history in a, in a way. And uh, you know, uh, but then at the same time, I mean, the, the internet is a great thing as well, you know, to be able to get your music out and to be able to obtain music, you know, at your fingertips and all that kind of a thing um, is, a, is a pretty cool thing as well. So, uh, you know, but like you said, it, it, it maybe lost some of the mystique because it's, you know, it's never going to be that way ever again, you know. So, I, like I said, I'm just more glad that I was there to, you know, to be a part of that, I guess, you know. And I, I recently spoke to Alex Webster, and he was telling me that, especially in the beginning of your band, when you guys really started to get popular in the underground, that uh, some fans were disappointed to find out that you guys weren't, in fact, insane or satanic or anything like that. Are there any uh, specific instances that come to mind? Not really. I mean, um, you know, if anything, it's more like kind of when we did interviews i mean i think the fans you know they're the fans of the fans you know and they and they love the music and they're happy to meet you and all that kind of thing i i, I you know so many interviews we've done with press for the first time and then when the interview's done you know the person would say man you're really you guys are really nice so you're a really nice guy not what i expected you know they they you know they obviously go into it thinking yes we're a cannibal corpse and you know we must be evil and bad people and you know demented and we're you know we're gonna just who knows are they gonna attack me in any moment i don't know you know so so i think that uh you know that seems to have been more of the case you know than actually the fans i'm sure there's been some instances but i unfortunately just can't recall offhand right now okay and uh I wanted to ask you, uh, finally, uh, you guys are very inspired by horror films and stuff like that. Uh, what are maybe your top five films uh, that feature uh, actual cannibalistic corpses? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, that's a good one. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan more of, you know, the movies that I kind of grew up with, I guess, like in the late 70s and, you know, early 80s of, you know, of the horror genre. Um, I, I, you know, I mean, the Day of the Dead films, all the dead oh, films are great. Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, you know, I mean, Night of the Living Dead, of course, you know, that started it all. So, uh, uh, I, I mean, those are great, of course, zombie movies. Um, what else that would be uh, I guess vampires are kind of yeah but it, you know it wasn't a big vampire thing because it wasn't huge you know it was more it was more just the killers and the, and the sure. zombies for us you know the vampires weren't that big back when we started out you know not like yeah. it is today you know so um, you know uh, definitely the, the dead movies like I was saying and uh, why can't I think of uh, of any of the other I mean there's the movie zombie of course Okay. Um, you know, there's a lot of the Fulci movies as well that I can't think offhand uh, any of the titles. Uh, you know, because we we're big fans of those, the the, the Lucio, the Fulci's, and the Dario Argento movies as well. Um, but um, yeah, I would have to say, you know, probably, you know, like I said, the dead movies. You know, that would be you know, the the best ones for you know for the zombies. I think. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate cool. it. Thank you. Thank you. Go out and buy Torture by Cannibal Corpse. It will rip your face off.